I'm gonna give you a little bit more information about this artwork. This artwork is done by Norvell Morisot, and he's often called the grandfather of Indigenous art in Canada because he inspired a lot of younger Indigenous artists to paint in a similar style to his. His style is known as the woodland, the woodland style or the woodland school of art. Uh, he was working in a time where Indigenous people were still being sent to residential schools and he was actually sent to one of the schools himself. More so was really interested in the stories of Anishinaabe elders. So his, he was uh, Anishinaabe himself and he was interested in symbols that he saw painted on rocks around his community, such as the Thunderbird, which is pictured over here on the left. When he was in his teens, he got very sick and his family held a healing ceremony for him. And during that ceremony, he was given uh, an Anishinaabe name, which was Copper Thunderbird. Thunderbird is an important spiritual being in Anishinaabe culture. They often show up in stories and maybe in artwork. Uh, Thunderbirds have a protective relationship with Anishinaabe people in these stories. So Thunderbirds are important spiritually to Norvell Morisot, and they show up quite often in his artwork. So here's this painting again. I'm going to tell you the title. So the title is Artist with Thunderbird Vision and in brackets, The Visionary, 1977. So now that you know the title and you know more about the importance of Thunderbirds, has your I, have your ideas about this painting changed? Uh, like I mentioned, Norvell has a lot of other artwork featuring Thunderbirds. So can you find any other examples online? That's my challenge to you. I hope that those images gave you a little bit of an introduction to Norval Morisot's artwork and got you thinking about the different things that art can communicate with us. Next week, we're gonna have some more other indigenous artists and we'll have similar question prompts to think about and talk about. See you later.